Pittsburgh. Buffalo. Detroit. The middle class famous tour is coming your way. A little mix of stand-up comedy. Play a little AYG with the crowd. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, guys, get the homies. Come out. It's a good way to introduce them to the show. We're going to be in Buffalo on June 14th. We're going to be in Pittsburgh on June 15th. And Detroit, June 16th. Get those tickies. We'll see you there. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. A little show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out if they're going to be classy yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, Ace Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She's upstairs. She's organizing a new lemonade stand of sorts. Okay. But for catalytic converters. Okay. So Good if you're know. in the market and you're looking for something cheap, come by the spot. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me, unamused again this week. Uh -huh. I'm striking out. <laughs> He's my best pal in the whole wide world, and I love him. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, as always, make sure you rate, views, subscribe Fire on, on the writers. <laughs> rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking. And then, obviously, the greatest website of all time, <sighs> www.patreon.com. Slash Lord. are you garbage. <laughs> Check it the fuck out, ladies and gentlemen. That's a game changer over there. Whew, come yeah. see me in Tuscany this summer. <laughs> and how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man makes us all look good. You love him. We love him. Give it up for T-Bone McButtons, Toby McMullen. What's up, dude? What's up, T-Bone? Got a hot one, man. We got a hot one. one. We, we got the fucking kid in here. We, we got mm -hmm. the coolest kid in school. Woo! <laughs> the new kid coming That's right. in. <laughs> he's got a girlfriend up in Canada, but That's we still right. love she's him. Got, she's got huge tits. <laughs> <laughs> I seen him in everything. Yeah. <laughs> she showed him to me. I swear. Gang, we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly special guest back with us again today. Mm -hmm. Extremely funny stand-up comedian. Tours all over. Let me tell you something. This kid kills it on Twitch, on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter. And he's got a brand new special, his debut special. Mm -hmm. Right. Coming out June 5th on YouTube called Live at the Lodge Room. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the pride of Baltimore, mm. Stavros Halkis. <laughs> Stavi, right. baby. How we doing, boys? We're Thanks doing good. No, oh, I'm happy to be here. I, w I would like for the record to state <laughs> oh boy. that I you guys have had a lot of like big names. I'm, I'm thrilled. You're a big name. I'm what are thrilled you talking to see, about? But, you know, we're friends. Power. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure, sure. I'd like for the record that I did this podcast <laughs> when I was sure it would fail. <laughs> <laughs> that I, I, I'm returning now that it is a success, and I'm very happy for you. But I remember getting the email and being like, all right, I'll do, I, those are funny guys. This, I'll do it for them. It was early, too. Yeah, it, it was, was early. It was a solid early. pandemic. It was, it was like in the middle couple, of the pandemic. A couple of months into the pod. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, this is good. There, one last attempt, and then... <laughs> And then maybe if I'm at Helium, they can feature for me. <laughs> you know, that's kind of how I approached it. And I'm very happy to see you guys thriving. And I love uh, it. It hurts because it's true, it. man. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> it hurts because it's true, dude. Well, I can say that's the, oh. the fact that you know the truth of course, means, means things are going well. Of it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 We've made it through the tunnel. We're on the other side. That's patreon.com. <laughs> Keep it in that Patreon. Take one more swing, baby. Yeah. That's what it's all about. I mean, we were we might have been doing <laughs> two thousand people yeah, when yeah. you when you did you did totally. it early. I, I think did it early. I don't even think you had a shirt on when we no. did it. Did, we did it via Zoom, and Absolutely. I'm pretty sure you were yeah, I forgot about it. <laughs> I got a text, a frantic text. I was like, oh, oh yeah, my internet's fucked. Let me plug. It. Let me plug the router in. I wasn't. <laughs> me I wasn't both. napping. <laughs> Oh, you're sitting there with like the mics and yeah. the, the cans on. I'm like the Zoom's recording. I'm like, have you heard from him? Nothing, yeah. nothing. But I'm happy to be back. The studio is fucking sick. It Thank looks you, awesome. I remember you. your camera turned on. You were brushing your teeth or something yeah. like that. Hey, what's going on, boys? Good to see you. I was also losing my mind during the pandemic. So it, was, it actually was nice to talk. To someone and just do something different. Sure, that was course. deep pandemic. That deep. was that was four hundred dollar grocery store orders. Oh, that was yeah. fucking crushing, fucking yeah. uh, Breaking Bad. Yep. that was that was knee deep. In that the was pandemic. the getting fat as hell. Oh mm -hmm. man, we'll never see civilization again. Woo! Part of the pandemic. What a ride that was. It was, huh? a, it was a fun time. Man, 
fucking grocery store yeah. in the pandemic was all right. I'll yeah, tell you yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations on the special. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Things have been going incredibly well. I'm trying. I'm working. Um, yeah. Before we get into the Patreon questions, we want to do a little follow up here. It's with been you. a while Find since out you've a been here. a couple of yeah. things. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Um, I know you have a slight bone to pick with me. Oh yeah, regarding the <laughs> dug up some of my old tweets. That's right. He's trying to get me canceled. That's what right. one? <laughs> the old bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, We've got a lot. I feel like that's that's me and Foley's relationship. Is he puts out a food take, and I'm like, I'll execute. You. Yeah. Well, we are out of your yeah, mind. Of I have a machete. I'm outside of your house. Strawberry <laughs> quick. Strawberry quick. I'll kill you. You son of a bitch. I think we also had a pizza disagreement. Well, that's another one do. I want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but like, sure. I just want to. Let's co- start. Whatever. I just want to. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it going. I'm ready Let's to fucking, fucking go. Puts his hair in a yeah, ponytail. Yeah. Let's I'm close, dude. I'm close to the tail in the back here. <laughs> I want to clarify the old bay comment. All Please. right, because that's like sacred. It is. That's Listen. like angel dust where you exactly. come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shrimp, beautiful. crabs, okay, but these bozos up here in Philly, mm. they put it on fucking everything. Okay, no, French crab, fries. Fri- crab, crab fries are big. Where we, call- I love them. You can't. Love. Do you love them? Unimpeachable crab fries. Are you out of your mind? Really? It's a fucking perfect. It's. It's. it's thank it's, you. Ah, what do you? A little bit of cheese on the side. Fuck around with it a little. Yeah, absolutely. If mm-hmm. you if you can recreate like a cream of crab soup. This guy knows what's right. I'm on Team Stavi. You know, now. a little cream, a little cheese, mm-hmm. a little old bay. Get that. Look, because listen, we want. It's wanna, like a chowder. It's we like want soup. We want to liven up our fries. <laughs> <laughs> How many? Listen, Let the fries live. Who <laughs> are we kidding? We both shop at the same store, Foley. Yeah. Sure. I've seen that shirt on the on the DXL rack. All right. Don't come at me pretending you don't want different variations of fries. Thank you. It's not Just like be it's, honest, not, it's Foley. not a fucking. It's not a zero sum game. Uh huh. There's, There's a, no need to bring DXL into this. Yeah. <laughs> They're good people. Well, Stavi, hey, I love don't him. hurt him over there. <laughs> Listen, I'm back in, unfortunately. Nine months in a row of touring. I had to dip my toes uh, back into so the XL. Hey, Stavi, yeah. you're so back. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> Grab a sandwich. I'm eating the dressing room. Yeah. Tony, Stavi's here. <laughs> Man. But that's my point. It's like, give me every type of fry. Yes. Okay. I want it out there. I want you it. You don't want to have want... it every day, but exactly. you want the option. If Ex- you're there, hey, th- you know what? I've you... had the sweet potato fries. I had the regular exactly. cheese fries. Exactly. Give me the crabbies. You exactly. like the old bay chips too, I would assume, right? <laughs> of yeah. Okay. What are they? Hers? That's a or delicacy. Uts? Someone's got hers. Them. Does them? Yeah. Uts is the. Us. Is that the silver Uts bag is, one? Yeah, Uts is the golden bag. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One. Her, that's uh, all right. They're good. Yeah, they're I'm a very big fan. good. They're very good. I put them on paro- I put old bay on pierogies. I don't give. A, I'll do it you on can, anything. Like that's I, not a bad idea. Shrimp. I think they shine. Definitely, it's shrimp. Shrimp and crab. And then there's nothing better than exactly sucking off the fucking old bay off the. Just sucking the crab leg. Uh huh. Getting a little it's on bit your of the fingers. Yeah, Ooh. the finger. You get a cut. It's painful, oh, but it's it that's how you know you're alive. I know. Let you, <laughs> you live know? a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do you stand on uh, Montreal steak seasoning? Montreal. Oh, okay. Interesting. Fan. I. This is. I. This is only the best on cereal. <laughs> this is. Uh, there's a reason this was a success. <laughs> for fucking. Yeah. All idiots, of our listeners look like YouTube. For by idiots the way. like me. Yeah. This is. These are the deep philosophical questions <laughs> I want to have. I don't want to talk. You know. You it's pull like, out a snifter. Yeah. 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 Montreal seasoning is. I would say it's an. Is an entryway. Indoor. Is a gateway okay. into the larger seasoning world. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is a little bit. It's tra- it is trash, by the I way. I remember when you used trash. salt and Very pepper, trash. you bozo. Yeah. yeah, salt and pepper. That salt and pepper, though, it's like I see what it can be elevated as well. Sure, sure. Montreal, your fu- your your mind is being opened. Mm-hmm. To- you're dipping your toe in the water there, and that's that's when you're like, if you grew up trash, yeah, right, and you want to escape. You throw a little Montreal steak seasoning on on some chicken. I remember, I, I remember the hit. first time I had Montreal chicken. Yeah. The first time I had it. And it blew th- my fucking exactly. hair back. You think you're like, fuck, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, it's like the way, like if you, if you, you like, it's kind of like reading a, a New Yorker article when you live in fucking, in like, <laughs> Philly, or, you know, in like sure. trashy Philly or like yeah, wherever yeah, yeah. the fuck, Baltimore. It's, so, it's a little, little mind sh- expanding. It's, a, yeah, it's, it's like, like doing oh, mushrooms for the first time. Yeah, it's time. like, oh, you motherfuckers know nothing about Montreal seasoning. I feel you know? like, I feel and like then, I... You're Got in turmerics. Mm-hmm. You're fucking around with gingers. Mm-hmm. See, you know what I mean? Some fresh ginger some, or something. Some fucking five spice. Turmeric. Did you say turmeric? I think it's either one. <laughs> turmeric. Turmeric. No, it's turmeric. No way. It's got to be turmeric. T-Bone, help me out. It's not turmeric. 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 No. Yeah. A lot of people say turmeric, which is wrong. That that might be the most right one. No, no. that's we need a we need a like an Indian guy. We need here. somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, it's what we need. You know, sure. we Let's need. Get to the what I'm saying this. is Montreal seasoning. 
that's the gateway. Then you're having different. It's right up the middle. Yes, from sure. the Orient, you're getting a little fresh oregano. Yeah. I was always an oregano guy, being Greek, obviously. The Orient, but you know, you're opening your mind up to different <laughs> to different things. Sure, so I Silk Road type stuff. It is yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would say I'm I'm definitely past the Montreal steak seasoning point in my life. Sure. Okay, you know what I mean. That's over for me. But I, it was a beautiful time. It was. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, your yeah, college yeah. girlfriend. So yeah. I'm glad we didn't get married. But, but I, I wish her it, nothing it but the best. It taught me a lot of things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I learned a Montreal lot. Montreal seasoning days. was the first person to suck my dick. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. The toe <laughs> ring was hot, but yeah. I got to move on. Uh, I feel like what hmm. happened was is that our dads or somebody went out to a restaurant. This is back in the day. They had it, and then it filtered into the home. See, and I then we got fed at one. I, I remember it was in the spring. My dad did some steaks on the grill. We're like, what the fuck is mm-hmm. on this? He's like, Montreal steak. It was on At that point, every it was single only barbecue meal we had sauce for the next is what you had. Sure, yeah. sure. That yeah. was, it was yes. like barbecue sauce, but barbecue sauce up until like 96. And then and this, by Montreal the way, came on the scene. The fact that we're having this discussion <laughs> means we were all grew up poor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. this there is. There wasn't like, a lot of money. Like, I'll I'm thinking much. about my roommate who like was a kid who, like, you know, grew up in the DC suburbs. His dad was like a computer programmer. Like, he was having fucking ramen. He was having real sushi. Ramen. Real ramen. Oh, real ramen. Dude, real ramen. I didn't have real ramen until like three exactly, fucking yeah. exactly. years ago. College. Was, I'm still a little scared exactly, of it. Exactly, exactly. He, like, he under, you know, had that shit going. Sure. So for him, he probably, that was never mm-hmm. the case. But yes, dry rubs, Montreal seasoning was the, was the first. I mean, again, Greek people just like a little salt, pepper, oregano. Montreal seasoning made me feel a little fucking, you know. A little classy. A little elevated, yeah. right? Um, but I don't, I wouldn't tie it to a restaurant. I think it was just. McCormick and Schmidt. Yeah, that's just the, the it was thing, there. Yeah. It mm-hmm. was there. We still have it at my mom. Like yeah. we still, my she mom's still throws down on still it. If they're still firing up the grill, the fucking Mon- we're, we might as well be in Montreal. Out. Montreal's baby. coming out. In uh-huh. fact, I'm getting a little. I'm literally <laughs> having a flashback of making steaks on the gr- grill I put illegally on our balcony oh, in Greek Town. Love that. I had a summer of grilling. Charcoal. Where it was just. It was a gas grill. Okay. This was a gas grill. Even more dangerous, but all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want like, something that'll take out the whole block. Oh, yeah. And I got one in Astoria, too. Completely against code. Nice. I have a gas that plays grill by his own on rules. my balcony. I, what, I'm going to fucking... I'm not going to grill I in know. the summer? What the fuck? What yeah. kind, summer? You got, an out, you, got a, you got a balcony? You got a grill. Gotta, is it a balcony point. where the other one is right above you? I'm on the I'm the highest. Oh, good. Oh, there you go. You yeah. I might as well be that. a rooftop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah that. You yeah, can't yeah. be smoking out the neighbors in four. That's 4F, a good though. point. I never yeah. thought yeah. about that. But if Would you're on top, say that's fine. has anybody said anything? Like no, any notes? I, nobody like, really says anything like, out there. The story is awesome. Everybody dude. does. Everybody keep their fucking, fucking mouth keeps shut. their yeah. mouth shut. The illegal balcony, the illegal U-turn, and the fucking double parking out there. Oh, it's out of is absolutely insane. It's awesome. Everybody keeps their mouth shut and keeps it moving. They know. Yeah, it's a. It's a. It's a it's an incredibly diverse neighborhood. Mm-hmm. A lot of people from a lot of different places, yeah. and everyone knows just to fucking keep yeah. it yourself. Mind your own no business. Keep, keep it fuck. moving. Yeah, mm-hmm. and grilling unites all of those cultures. Everybody sure. likes a nice Slavic, barbecue. Eastern European, yeah. Puerto Rican, whatever the fuck it is, you know, everybody's everybody's down. grilling. Mm-hmm. Did you celebrate Greek Easter recently? Uh, you know, actually, this year my brother was married on Greek Easter, so wow. it was nice. We had a double celebration. Double up. He got like he the meal was lamb chops to right. make it real Greek. You sure. know, I was like, you know, I was pretty adamant that we got to have some fucking some lamb in the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he hadn't made I was like, I bring a sheep to the wedding. No, dude, I literally was like, I will hire a food truck to bring lamb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. don't put if it you, on the menu. Was it a I big wedding? Been, I would have a flex. It was pretty small. It, yeah. wasn't, it wasn't very big. It would have been a flex, but I, I surveyed the place. There would have been no place. to. There was no parking. <laughs> it would have been zone. like, yeah, 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 yeah. It was like out Perfect somewhere alone. in Maryland. Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was like, uh, hmm. it was a beautiful venue, but there was, would not have been an opportunity for uh, a food truck, a to food truck up, full of lamb. We were going to get to this eventually, but since you brought it up, brother's wedding. Yes. Uh, Ooh, like this. What was... Uh, a little audible. What was in the envelope? What was in the envelope? What you give oh, the brother? Or what do you... Yeah, a ton make, of money. A ton. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. A ton. I don't want to put my little brother on blast. Definitely don't do that. But of course. I want... There is... I just want him to have the best wedding possible. So if it was like... If there was I something... I love this guy. If there was something that they... Like didn't want to, you know, and he's young. He's like, you know, write it down. He for wants us. you to write it down. I don't even rem- like. It this was a rich guy thing to do. You don't talk about. It, you write it down. I like bet we've had bigger on the show. I'm You've sure. definitely had bigger sure. for sure. But I'm just trying to think, like, in terms of everything I paid for. Uh, oh, that's different. you did that yeah. too. I paid for a part good of guy it. move. Oh, the, oh, the, good envelope, the envelope. The envelope was a thousand bucks. Okay, but okay, yeah, yeah. that's yeah, but but you, yeah, you but, but, my pen back. But I. But there was definitely. Yeah, yeah. Believe there was some. There was some paper worthy. 
Sure, numbers go, <laughs> going into going into the rest. I of mentioned it. the lamb truck, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I got one for you. you just write that. I gave him a blender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got the a new air fryer. Forty-eight dollars. <laughs> um, that's a fucking that. That is nice. That's a fucking a, yeah. I just paid move. for a couple things. And Look at that. When my brother, the other thing is when my brother, because again, we are trash. We come. We don't. We have no financial literacy whatsoever. Mm-hmm. He was like, dude, I got this awesome credit card, and I, lo- <laughs> that's a I looked at credit it. Credit cards aren't awesome. I, and, and yeah, and it was like first gear, no whatever. Yeah. And then it was like. 88% I was like, motherfucker, if you don't pay this off, it is going to quadruple. Sure. And I just gave him the, the, the balance. The, uh-huh. And I was like, and now Turn I'll it. just, yeah. every holiday until uh, $10,000 worth, I'm just <laughs> like, that's, he's just, and that, so I would like to be clear. I gave him whatever I gave him on top of the debt he on has already incurred. Sure. You know nice. what I mean? Is but he younger? He's younger. Yeah, but of he's, course. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what a good man. But yeah, it's like, he was like, yeah, like truly... No one in my family understands fucking sure. Uh, understands money, what including myself. Like I don't yeah. know what the fuck. We I'm just had doing. a we did on Patreon. We had my buddy's a financial advisor. He came in oh, wow. and blew our minds. We I are need, not I need to doing talk to this, this right. Guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, dude, a financial advisor would fucking slap me in the face. Oh, dude, fifty percent. They're like, put fifty percent away. I'm like, fifty percent. What do yeah, I? Yeah, I gotta yeah, hang yeah, out yeah. a little bit. You know that's, I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's why I want to <laughs> like party. That's why I want to just buy a house because I have that dumb villager. That dumb villager brain. Where it's like, I don't want to learn what stocks are. No. I don't want to do any of this shit. I want to buy a house. <laughs> I'll just put all my money into that. And I want to fucking maybe make a sick kitchen. Like, you know, I've got those. Yeah. I've got those dreams of just a giant Stainless kitchen. steel oh, fucking Vikings, Vikings everywhere. Yeah. The whole fucking So nine, you're not bro. doing the Bitcoin, the NFTs, none of that stuff? All that is bullshit. Okay. If you're a fucking dumb bitch if you have any of that. <laughs> and I want to be very clear about that. You hear that, Ma? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just another, like, America is so fucked mm-hmm. that they just have to create new pyramid schemes. To get people ask us, like, you going to do a garbage people. NFT? I'm like, we're comedians. Yeah, I'm not yeah, learning yeah, 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 yeah. NFTs. <laughs> also, no, they're fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, no. They don't, you don't own, it's just like, ownership, you could argue that no one really owns land, right? Yeah, like, sure. I, I'll hear that where it's like, you can't really, own, we shouldn't have private property. I'll listen to that. So now, you want to tell me that the idea of, of a, a picture, picture floating of a somewhere yeah, is yeah, worth, yeah. and then it's so funny because it's like, I think the money to be made has been made. Maybe yeah. some, some of the like, you know, the technology will Bitcoin, probably stay maybe, around and stuff like maybe that. Maybe some but. of the blockchain shit will, which I still don't understand. But like NFTs, it's over. It's truly over. Well, somebody like, so, didn't see someone stole yeah, Seth, Seth Green's, Green's like monkey, ape, and he was like, "Hey you... guys, give it back!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what <are> they, <laughs> he just tweeted, "Give it back." What are they taking? That's the only th- yeah. they hacked these hackers, and wasn't he in the movie Hackers? Exactly. That's for... pretty fucking Is interesting. That him? I don't think so. Who? Seth Green? No, not okay. in Hackers. Okay. Yeah. So he went to get the picture. Don't cut that. He went to get the yeah. picture. <laughs> Make me look cool, dude. <laughs> I was literally looking at Hackers t-shirts to buy today. Wow. So he went to get the picture, and the picture was gone. See this exact the fact that you can't <laughs> don't understand what's it, happening yeah. is a, 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 is an indictment of how stupid this yeah. idea is. Yeah, it's I think fucking it's like, nerd yeah, shit. It it stinks. So no, I want a house. That's it. That's, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, yeah. I agree. Maybe. And you do on your... I don't like that commie talk. I'll tell you that right <laughs> yeah. This is fucking America, stop. Go wow, back to Wow, these motherfuckers start making eight grand on Patreon. All of a sudden... All of a sudden, it's fucking pull yourself up by your bootstraps. We got, we got Ted Cruz coming in tomorrow. What are you talking about? We got Brian Kemp on the show next week. These motherfuckers start making eight grand on Patreon. Now it's fucking... That's all it took to turn me... <laughs> Goddamn Stacey Adams <laughs> on my right. Oh. Man. Kid, let's talk about Butcher Box. Butcher Box, Butcher Box, Butcher Box. That's right, baby. What do you like to grill? What's a guy like you? The little chicken, the little fish? That's pedestrian. Sure. I like a nice burger, maybe 100% grass fed. <laughs> Maybe from some nice ground beef. I like a nice brat. I like it all, baby. It's good stuff. You don't want to be going to the grocery store dealing with that. Where are you going to get top quality meats? You can get them delivered right to your door with Butcher Box. Mm -hmm. We're talking about grass-fed, grass-finished. We're talking about high-quality, wild-caught salmon, seafood. Free range. Free range. Wild-caught seafood. Good stuff. And all new subscribers to ButcherBox can receive a free grilling bundle in their first Ooh, order. Like time. we said a thousand times, they sent it to us. I've re-upped on it. I mean, I'm coming out. I, I got I got ground beef coming out my gills. Wild. It's fantastic. Uh, every month, ButcherBox ships a curated selection of high-quality meat right to your home. Free shipping in the continental U.S. No antibiotics, no added hormones. Packed fresh. Shipped frozen for convenience so you can save time on your next grocery store trip. 
delicious 100% grass-fed, free-range chicken, pork-raised, crate-free, wild-caught seafood, unbeatable value, less than $6 per average on meal. Where are you going to get that? Yeah. Not in New York, tell yeah. you that much. I got the crate stuff at my house. It yeah, stinks. They, you'd be paying $99 a fucking pound. To... Crate free, baby. <laughs> so kick off grilling season right with ButcherBox. Sign up at ButcherBox.com slash AYG to receive a free grilling bundle with your first order. You'll get two You'll get two 10-ounce ribeyes, five pounds of chicken drumsticks, and a pack of burgers for free. What's that number? Yeah, that's man? crazy, dude. They're giving us stuff. They're giving us store away. <laughs> that's ButcherBox.com slash AYG to claim this deal. Do it. Okay, let's talk about undertacked. Undertacked underwear. Let's talk about underwear, buddy. I got it on right now, actually. Nice. I swear to God. I feel like a badass, don't oh, you? Oh, it's real smooth, too. It makes me feel sexy. Got to get on that undertack, gang. Top quality stuff. Mm-hmm. Feels good. You don't feel like a bozo walking around. And best thing is battle tested by special forces. What? I swear to God. Holy shit. Mine's got a holster on it. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty. For his little 22. <laughs> <laughs> My little pea shooter, literally. It's high quality material, antibacterial, anti piling, moisture wicking, so you stay fresh and That's dry what I all need. day. Best thing about these, I know a lot of dirt bags listen to this show. Mm-hmm. I've been wearing these bad boys for about two, three days. <laughs> if we're being honest, it's not anti wicking. <laughs> <laughs> it's durable, ultralight, fade resistant, shrink resistant, and the best part, almost 30% less than the competition. Get undertack.com. That's get undertack. G E T U N E R T A C dot com. Get 20% off. Site wide with the with the offer code garbage twenty. Once you try these, you're gonna throw out your old boxers. Old boxers make you feel like you're in the nineteen twenties. These babies are sleek, mm. moving. I'm doing smash and grab jobs with them. I'm there throwing flashbangs at my wife. There you go. Uh, Got a job at Blackwater. <laughs> and if it's not enough, Undertack donates a portion of its profits to veteran-run organizations that are actively fighting human trafficking. What are we doing? These are the Come good on. guys. Let's go. Get undertack.com. That's getundertack.com. Offer code garbage20. Do it. Do it. Uh, <laughs> I do the other one. That would, that, that the least, big one yeah, was the Domino's versus us. Pizza Hut. Yeah. We absolutely. did that. We did that a while ago on the Patreon. Absolutely. And your, what are your thoughts? Well, because we were divided. So this is where I stand. Give, give me the. Let me. I want to weigh in on where the fellas are here. So and give I, me the, I think give me I, I was able to turn him. Okay, great. Right, I'm saying Domino's as a whole mm. is better because I, I think Pizza Hut had glory days. Sure. In the '90s, they are nowhere near that anymore. So we're tra- we're we're discussing peak. Peak of the powers, I don't think there's any discussion. No, no, no. Pizza Hut had it. The buffet, the fucking big red dining experience, everything. Come on. The the Pac-Man. Talk about your first glimpse of being elevated. Remember when you walked in there? Very much the Montreal seasoning of pizza. It's Pizza Hut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You walked in there on a Friday night? Oh, my God. the family? Absolutely. Of course. Space Invaders while the pie's cooking? Okay. Peak to peak. For the, it's n- undebatable. Okay, I like. Okay, but we can start there. Start there. We can start. We have if, some common ground. If you're on the road, you're in fucking you know, Missouri. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Everything's closed. The only thing open is Pizza Hut and Domino's. What? Your I'm still going Pizza Hut. Really? I really. Well, the am. problem is you still can't find Pizza Hut. That's, That's a problem okay, with the company. If there you if go. the if the argument hinges on accessibility, it hinges on you know uh, the I mean true just accessibility and. I also think Pizza Hut has a little issue here because we are always going to measure it by the greatness of its past. Sure. Where Domino's is a little Johnny come lately, right? It's like the it's, Roman Empire. Exa- yeah. Exa- <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a, yeah, exactly. If you're think if you're comparing like Italy now, look, it's fucking nice still. They're doing all right. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Now do they have do they have they conquered half the world? No, no. it's it's a little island of some fucking greasy Sexual harassers, <laughs> but you're but, not going to watch the lions the, fight anymore. But there's yeah. some nice, there's some fucking nice beaches. The food sure. is good, and then Domino's is I don't even know what what's the country equivalent of some shitty, you know. Let's, it's not shitty. It's pretty it's good. It's fine. It's fine. And Stop. that's the thing. They, they, it, when, when you they get changed one, the they, game a little. Bit. I've when been to Domino. Don't talk to me like I haven't had Dominoes <laughs> recently. I've had it. But when it's, you get one where, where it comes out right and it's hot and it's fresh and it's, it's there, quick. You order it, online not to talk to anybody. Man. It's fine. Again, fine. But I still, I still say that the highest, even today, the high of a high Pizza Hut 
is is better. Yeah, but Chasing that, was that 20 dragon, years ago. You're living no, in the past, I'm not. man. It's I 2022. Still, we still have pan pizzas, right? We yeah. still have a crispier, little oilier, crunchier, little fucking, you know, base. The love's gone, man. They're Domino, done. Domino's does a pan pizza pretty well. I have, I just have their their standard, the standard. Domino's But they, pizza. they do the nice crust with the Parmesan I, butter or whatever. And here's the thing about that crust. It is an improvement. <laughs> Fundamentally, it's the same crust. <laughs> Fundamentally, it's still the same chew, the same... Mouth feel, sure. right? It's mm-hmm. all the same shit. Whereas I, I contend that Pizza Hut does have better crust. And if, you're, if your argument is, look, Domino's is like, you know, Pizza Hut is the, fu- you know, the girl you were in love with. She's yes. The best, you know, she would suck your dick. You're, you would go cross-eyed like you're in the Three Stooges. <laughs> she was I mean? the girl you dated with rich parents. Exactly, rich parents. But also, the beach. but also she had empathy. She wasn't like them. She had empathy. Yeah. You know what I mean? She wasn't like Republican Foley over here. Telling, <laughs> d- didn't want to hear any commie talk. She was giving twenties to homeless people. Well, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. She was buying you stuff. Didn't want you to feel bad. Hot, smoking hot butt. She would disappear for a month. You know what I mean? She mm-hmm. would leave you hot and cold. Mm-hmm. And it's like if now I think I'm the kind of guy I'd rather chase that love affair than a seven that- and a half that's always there for you. And that's what Domino's is. You know? Yeah. You can't get it. We can't get it here, right? You can't get a Domino's in a store or a. You can't get a Pizza Hut in Astoria, correct? Pizza Hut. I don't even know where they... Dude, there's nowhere to but be see, found. But They're not a, even there. When's it's the last time you had Pizza past. Hut? Let's start there. That's, yeah. inter- that's an interesting Come question. On. But to be fair, I don't have Domino's that much either. True. I, I have... I have am you had Domino's of... in the last 365 days? <sighs> I don't know, actually. Truly, I don't okay. know. Maybe not mm-hmm. is the answer. Because... I when I get pizza I get like I have my spots in Astoria that sure. are local chains. It's more of like we I mean we Who's travel a lot obviously. I like uh I mean my well there's that you one Crave. Bellucci? I haven't done Bellucci's yet. Just opened. Um I like Crave. They got good wings too. Mm-hmm. Uh for just dude the quickest a pizza has ever gotten to me <laughs> um is uh Retro. You know Retro on Broadway. I that's swear on, to, that's on my block. Yeah, I swear to god the quickest of pizza. It, I have put it's not even a phone call. I put it on seamless. Mm-hmm. It has come to my house nine minutes later. I love that. And it's it's love fully that. like seven minutes away. Sure. Like I don't understand. They're fucking preheating I, these motherfuckers. I truly like it's gotten there so fast where I'm like like I didn't even I thought it was my friend or something. Yeah. Like, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Like I was shitting. I just hit the door and the guys bang. I'm like, what, what the fuck? How's is it this here? Ready already? Yeah. Like full. They beat their seamless like uh, uh, estimation by 20 minutes Love routinely. That. Love that. <laughs> so, and it's not the highest quality pizza, but, but it gets insane. the job done, right? It's, it's better than Domino's. Uh, you know? Sure. It's- well, in it's, New York, it's New York Domino's. You're not exact. You're not getting Domino's in New York. We're obviously on the road a lot. You get right. done the shows late. You're in a smaller town. A lot of times, the only game I, in town is so, Domino's. So now, look, I'll be honest here. I have not been to a Pizza Hut in a while. It's very possible that I'm still living in these. I think in you're these living in the glory days. days, man. And I would love. I w- now. I now I feel like I have to go to a Pizza Hut. <laughs> I feel like I need. I should have prepared. Good luck I find thought, one. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> I hope, I hope you're in fucking Omaha sometimes. Yeah. There's none. There's no like sit down about Pizza Hut anymore. That's another right? thing. They cut all those out. Okay, and that's an issue. But it's I, the Wing Street. It's that and the Wing. Get the fuck out right. of here with the, the wing, wing Street. Oh, but that's I an hate issue. that. I hate that hybrid shit. That's an issue across uh, fast food pizza Corporate, places. Yeah, corporations. They yeah. have tried to make these fucking disgusting baked wings mm-hmm. happen, and that's a spit in the it, consumer's yeah. face. Mm-hmm. A agree. wing needs to be fried. Mm-hmm. Put a fucking fryer in there or suck Two, my three dick. three minutes. Yeah, what are yeah. we doing yeah, here? It's mm-hmm. out, out of control. Domino's wings are, ju- you know, the wing is a wash. They're all dog shit. Yeah, right? I'm not judging it on the Thank fucking you. pasta bowls You're a gentleman. and the this and the that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, a cheesy crust. You know what? You know what I'll say? The cheesy You know where bread. they have Pizza Huts that is actually a really reliable thing is on the fucking 95 rest stops. Oh yeah, oh, going that's to get a personal probably. Pan? I don't mind that. I don't and mind that's, that. That's honestly probably my last. But that's what you're you're down to. Fucking rest Roy stop Rogers. where truckers are getting blown. I, I, that's where I, you got to get your pan I pizza. Lo- I, yeah, I, there's some about their. Where are you heading? I just pay for a pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking commute. I'm on the Jersey Turnpike. I'm paying eighty dollars in tolls to have a personal pan pizza. But I will say that is their strength. You I'll, know? I'll give them that. That yeah. pan, I'll that g- chewiness. That's. That's there. They have that's like baseball games and pizza. shit too. Like, and to me, it's just you know. I, but again, I'm more of a romantic. Like I said, sure. I like this. I'm a home run hitter. Mm-hmm. Not a great, but not a great batting average, okay. right? I like it. I don't want. I respect. I respect you, it. You guys can dink and dunk, getting your little singles with your <laughs> with your fucking dominoes. Uh-huh. I'm fucking. 
I've, I miss a lot, but man, when it connects, does it connect mm-hmm. nice? And the crowd never, goes wild. That will never happen at Domino's. <laughs> I a, promise you I, that. I, I'll give you that. As a child, there was something, the butteriness, mm-hmm. the texture, the oily, the, the little bit crispy. of the garlic that was kind of on the crust. Yep. Man, it was just man. absolutely. And I will even say their big gimmick stuff. Stuffed crust, not even one of their, not their best pizza. No, yeah, no. regular not pizza's even, better. Yeah, 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 of course. You know? I even loved their thin crust back in the thin day. Thin crust was is good. Fucking all right. That yeah. salad bar, goddamn. Yeah, I'm like a fucking gentleman. I there was one in Dundalk, Maryland. I wonder if it's still open. And if it is, I'm gonna go the next time I'm in Baltimore. I'm gonna go back. Well, I was gonna buy and it. I am going. Yeah, I might, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm I technically don't know about land, investing but. wisely. <laughs> I bought that in a blockbuster. I think I'm going to be all right. The one in my hometown, it, that's why I'm a little sour. The one in my hometown. Mine's uh, a dry cleaners. Yeah, yeah. Mine turned tough. into a bank. Um, it's tough to see those. But a kid mm-hmm. was shitting in the shitting in the tomato sauce or something <laughs> and then serving it, and he got arrested for, like, endangering uh, senior citizens that's or something. That's awesome. Because it got delivered to a uh, retirement that's home. That's hysterical. Yeah. He was, like, 13 or whatever. Wow. Got walked out what, in cuffs. Did he ever... Did he ever Speak to his motivations behind no, shitting. Probably in the just, he was just sauce. a teenager trying to be cool or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he's Nothing dead now for cool. sure. <laughs> like shit, like <laughs> shitting in some, putting your ass up, cheeks ladies? on a big can of pasta <laughs> sauce. He shot himself as they closed in on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, favorite flavor of Gatorade. Ooh, interesting. It's I would say it's between the classic yellow and the classic blue. Great. Uh, That's and great. The frost. I'd have to. I think push comes to shove, gun to my head. I'm going frost. Okay. Oh, and having big. said that, I like to fuck around. I like to. You, you like know, the white one? The wild. The white one's all right. It's yeah. big now. That you lot, know, that's like a lot of people's cherry. favorite now. You know what I'm? Glacier you know what I'm? Cherry. Kids on TikTok, they love. You know what I'm dipped my little nuts into recently? <laughs> I was. I've. I've. The body, pasta sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was between. Yeah, that guy was shitting between my legs. <laughs> um, I tried body armor. Uh, peach like mango and I'll say this I've tried the not the diet and the full the diet's better okay so I'm a big bot I don't I can't that's this, not energy drink though right no, no it's a gator it's a okay. Gatorade competitor they got like hardened they have a couple of baseball players I don't yeah. fucking know they've they've tried to like really get into the the space that, that's exactly the market share <laughs> uh, don't they drink that at barstool don't they have that, is that body armor right? yeah they yeah. might they be might, a big yeah, they uh, might. Yeah, yeah so I will say that flavor and I can't I just discovered, like, I, I had it for the first time. I was in D.C. Two, like last weekend or two weekends ago, and there was a, hilariously, there was a standalone Wawa in the middle of Whoa. downtown D.C., like right that. across the street from my hotel. It was nice. I was no just, gas station? No gas station. Mm. Old school. And wow. I got to say, it was fucking sick. I'm like sure. a general store. Because it was like, yeah, yeah it yeah. was like across the street from my hotel. I, you know, there's like little, there's like little benches around there. Me and my fucking buddy, Eldis, shout out to Eldis. Uh, who was with me? We were just getting Wawa and we were fucking getting high, smoking a Good joint, days, drinking baby. some body armor, <laughs> and what whatever. Getting the... hype for a game that's never <laughs> yeah, gonna happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was using more as recovery. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a Pedialyte and a meatball sub. Yeah, two hours of stand up comedy and then the damage I was doing with what I ordered mm-hmm. uh, at Wawa. But there's something about that peach mango. Okay, I have to do. I, have I to like. Get, I have to get in the lab. It's very reminiscent of a specific flavor from childhood that I can't put my fucking. I completely agree with you. On. We were just talking about these ice things. They're called ice. They're, they're called like spark, tall, sparkling ice. They're tall skinny those. bottles. It's yeah, like zero yeah, yeah. calories, and they're they're flavored. It's like sparkling water type thing. They have an orange mango. Same oh, thing. I'm like, phenomenal. I don't know. I have Something's one yesterday. Going on. I go, I don't know what it is. It's but a little it's sunny d ish. Mm, it's something. a little something, and it must be the, icy, it must maybe. be some kind of chemical exactly mm-hmm. that was in a uh, maybe a Capri Sun, something, maybe Ecto something cooler, there. something like something that. Something like that, mm-hmm. but not quite, not as tart. Yes, as the ecto cooler, it's a little lighter. Peach mango, yes, yeah, yeah, peach mango. And this believe. is the fattest. I'm on the case. We've ever <laughs> yeah. I'm on the case. This, yeah, consider me on the job. I baby. love that. Yeah, it's I'm good. about to go get some right now. After the show. <laughs> Were you guys so B people back in the, when you were just kids? No, that wasn't. Nah, us. that was fucking Lollapalooza. You know, fucking. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. new age shit. to Get me, out dude. of here with that belly button you know, ring. I hate. Mm-hmm. I hate fuck to agree Je- with them. Yeah. Get the fuck. Jennifer Aniston can kick rocks. As much as it pains me, I tried to get into Sobe every once in a while, and it just 
I would do it, but as a poser. Yeah. Like, it wasn't you in my heart. Belong. It you wasn't in my heart. You yeah. felt weird. Yeah, I would get them just What's to be up? cool, just to, yeah. just to pretend I'm not these guys, you know? <laughs> yeah. and, but ultimately, something was off. I will admit, it never, it never clicked I love in. how you're trying to distance yourself. Oh, 100%. Us, by the way. I've always you're been. crazy. I've, exactly. Cr- we just debated Domino's versus yeah. Pizza Hut, seriously, for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not like these losers. No, exactly. That's always, been, that's always been how I've seen myself. I'm like, I'm better than everyone I grew up with. Like, we had a very similar... You know, shitty, uh, yeah, uh, middle class, middle, you know, ups, yeah, uh, what's the fucking, what, uh, I'm sorry, this is dirt my fucking, bags, suburban, no, no, trash. No, that, working the, class, scumbags, no, 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 I, this is Republican, regional, region, no, no. oh, north, like northeast, mid Atlantic, East Atlantic. 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 sorry, my third podcast of the day, yeah, <laughs> what about uh, Fruitopia? Would you, were you guys around? Same for that? thing, that was, uh, that was, Fruitopia was all right, we couldn't re- touch re- it. Remind me, Henry, it was very, <laughs> it was very, so- it was very soby. yeah, it was oh, okay. very soby. Well, I don't remember Fruitopia, but they were good. And here's one that you're probably said deep, deep, deep. I'm cut. ready. Clearly Canadian. You know what I'm talking about. They were in like Perrier bottles. They looked like sparkling water, but they were actually they had soda. They had flavor. Yeah, they had sugar in them. They were, mm-hmm. they were, yeah. They would not do the raspberry one of those. Would knock your socks off. I was a big, I was a big um, Arizona iced tea. Of course, scent guy. Of course, that was my go to. Of course, we were, we were. Snapple definitely had a moment. Yeah, yeah. Snapple had a moment. Snapple of was the fucking you could click king. The, the bottle. But I still wasn't. Down now. I still wasn't a huge Snapple guy. I mean, my dad was big on Snapple from. Like Price Club and fucking sure. Sam's Club and that kind of shit. We were but, Wawa iced tea though growing up. Wawa mm, iced tea was that was in the fridge, Wawa the half drink. gallon. Yeah, mm, yeah. We were truly the drinks were even shittier than what we're talking about. Remember that shit, Tampico, that fucking like by the gallon, like I don't truly like radioactive. I don't know that Tampico. Now I'm gonna start fruit punch. myself from you. No, yeah. truly, that's, that's by the laundry detergent. No, no, exactly. That was nowhere near a cooler. No, that dude, was served, exactly. That was, oh, that stuff. Yes, yes, no. yes, 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 yes. That's like fake orange. Juice. I'm listen. What can I say? Here's no, the thing. You're trying to Here's get all fucking uppity next to Here's me. Here's the difference. I grew up with less money, more class. This is poverty. You know what I mean? Sure. This you're is my mother. Fabuloso. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, you're crazy, I went dude. to the theater, you <laughs> pieces of shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. My you? mom took us to museums. Damn, your mom yeah, was yeah, getting yeah. you that? Yeah, that, that is literally that was, what she was. was trying to play up. She was like, I honestly did not understand how poor we were. Uh-huh. And, and it was like, looking at this, I'm like, that went in my body. That's crazy. Dude, Dude, it was my favorite. Me and my brothers were like, Tampico! Tampico! <laughs> yeah, you were fucking addicted think, to sugar, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my mom tried to wean us off, and we would, <laughs> yeah. we were like fucking getting shakes. Chain you to yeah, the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yes, that is that is definitely like a that's, truly, that's I need to make $20 stretch mm-hmm. drink. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was like, we had, and we did for a while, we did fucking uh, juice from concentrate until we got too snooty for that. Like the frozen? frozen? The frozen. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah. That I was orange that juice. When I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to get in one of those yeah. things. <laughs> yeah. Eat it like a popsicle. Oh, <laughs> Dude, the powder. My mom would freak out. <laughs> then she would have to make the fucking, then she would have to make it with half of it. My brother would be like, what the fuck? This sucks. Like, yeah, Thank yeah, your yeah. brother. He yeah. ate it all. <laughs> Fucking screaming at me. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Kip, let's talk about Titan. Titan, Titan, Titan. In, in this day and age, if you need, if you don't know how to do something, what do you do? Do you try to figure it out yourself or do you hire an expert to do it? You hire an expert to do it. Why would it be different when it comes to investing? Listen, this crypto thing is real. Mm-hmm. Okay? A lot of stuff's real going on out there. And you got to get on Titan. They can help you out. They got experts to handle your financials. Yeah. Uh, as everyday investors, the cards are stacked against us. If you're the little guy, the day trader, you're trying to put, I got sure. 500 here, I got 100 that. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah. You know what you're I mean? You're not picking lottery numbers anymore. Yes, but we've been, given, we've been given access to the marketplace of stocks, but we're competing against institutional investors with unlimited resources. You got Degrees. whole teams of guys going over charts and graphs. Meanwhile, you're picking your belly button. Men's, to- men with jobs. I know. Uh, but when you're wealthy, you have access to these teams of ex- experts of different types of portfolios, investment vehicles, and much more. Growing your long-term wealth isn't something you should just do yourself. You can sit back. You shouldn't just sit back and shoot for average returns. With Titan, you have personal investment team that researches and invests for you, and then can they aim to outperform the market while giving you a courtside seat to become a smarter investor along the way. To get with Titan, you get access to strategies similar to those with the one Similar, similar to those in the one percent, without having to be ultra wealthy or pay hefty fees. Mm-hmm. All it takes is a hundred bucks to get started. You deposit your money, 
uh, selective with their portfolios you want to invest in, and that's easy peasy. Me and you both got set up not too long ago. They put a couple of free bucks in our account where I'm playing chess over here. What's that? Give me two of those. One of I'm them. I'm too shabby. Um, check out Titan if you want to aim to become a smarter, uh, wealthier investor than you've ever been. So head to titan.com slash garbage. You get $50 when you invest with Titan. You must go to the URL um, or you will not get the $50 and they will not know we sent you. That's $50 when you go to titan.com slash garbage and invest with Titan. Free uh, 50 bucks. Give it a shot. Yes. This is a sponsored podcast ad. I am a client of Titan and invest in multiple things in my portfolio. Check it out. Now back to the show. Back to the show. Any clocks in your house that are wrong right now? What's an the oven, oven? A microwave. Ooh, that's a good question. My oven may be wrong. I haven't I haven't checked. Honestly. Okay. I've been literally. We I did got just back, spring forward too, not too long ago. I got yeah. back. My from car's the, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Car was a big one. Uh, I haven't been to my car since that. So probably. But yeah, oven could be wrong. But see, my roommate is uh, one of my best friends. He's like my best friend from college, and uh, we kind of live like a like a gay couple with mm -hmm. like two incomes. You know, sure. like. And he uh, he is kind of he's like a little like anal about things like that. So he probably he probably he takes probably care. Probably checked it, but he's also been gone. So I'll Could text. You. I'll go home. I'll text you. Okay. Like, you does know. he keep the house tight? He does. He's hits the reason like. Like I'm the problem in the house for sure. I've, like I could have picked up on. Yeah, that. yeah, 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 <laughs> dude. If I show like, I if he he's like in Portland right now. If he cut his trip early, if and he came showed home, up today. I would be mortified, dude. Oh, it's, really? My luggage is just on the couch. Mm -hmm. Like I got back Monday. I got back Monday. It's what is today? Thursday. Yeah. My I haven't like my just luggage is kind of zipped out because I had no. I I did laundry before I left, so I was like, oh, instead of putting my clothes back, I've just been taking. Living it out, I do that the, too. Yeah, I'm yeah. in my own home, living out of yeah, a suitcase. Yeah, yeah. I haven't unpacked since Chicago. Yeah, was, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, was yeah, a yeah. That was in '99. I have just a bag, like a gar, a hefty bag, like a garbage industrial bag of. Every night seamless order that just goes uh, just right in there. Yeah, put it back in the brown bag. Put it back in the brown bag and put it in there. That's just like, you know, kebab, sushi, <laughs> whatever the fuck, whatever you I got. You know you're a piece of shit when you're opening that bag and you intend to keep it, like, you don't rip it. You yeah, keep it yeah, intact yeah. so you can use it later <laughs> to make the cleanup easier because you know you're a piece of shit. Yeah, and I just don't clean up till the next day. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's yeah. like, you know, I just, like, get... I just eat that. Sh that's my fucking heroin, mm -hmm. and I just eat way too much. And then I pass the fuck. I take a couple of melatonin. So I'm trying to get off the weed right now, and I just pass the fuck out. Wake up the next day groggy as a bitch, and just like all this dried like sauce and oh, rice, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I like chip it off <laughs> yeah. the table and shit like that. So Soy sauce everywhere. It's brutal. No, my apartment sucks right now. How's uh. the uh, How's the credit score these days? Very good credit, actually. Very good. Really good Always credit. had. I always did have pretty good credit. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I uh, I didn't have any student debt. Okay. And my father was so in debt that it scared me. Sure. So I just never had any until until I bought that house in Greektown. Uh huh. I and I guess my car loan. Okay. I had don't. Those were the only, only two, two things. Th that was the only time I was ever in debt. So you, you own know, your car. Own my car. What are you rolling around in? Tw 2012 Corolla. Okay. You know, you still making payments on it? No, no. Oh, I was going to say. What the fuck? That's the whole reason I. You think I just. <laughs> you get a 90 year old lease? <laughs> Two years left on this bad boy. What the fuck? Yeah. My monthly payment's $8. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll be passing it off to my son. <laughs> he can. Um, what, what kind of air freshener are you kicking around with in that Corolla? Ooh, no freshener. Just raw, raw dog. dog. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Stop me, baby. What's that car like? Is it a huh? tough scene in there? in there? Yeah. You know, it's How not. How many water bottles on the ground? Solely because I've basically stopped driving. I've yeah. been on the road so much. Well, I and need to say, my car is. Uh, my car, I parked under a tree for three weeks. It looks like I just pulled it out of a swamp. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. looks like it was underwater. I'm it's actually bad. thinking about giving it to my mom because I just don't drive at okay. all. Okay. So I think I think that's gonna be for Lil V, dude. She's getting that one. How nice. do you handle the tickets? You get did you you on the street? Or you have it in garage. Oh, I have a garage. You have it in garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah, classy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a favorite frozen pizza? Uh, I'm a Freshetta man. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, Freshetta is better. New money. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. all right. <laughs> I think that's square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's not. I just chubbed up a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Freshetta. That was, that, there was a moment in my life, in our lives, where I was like, where we upgraded to Freshetta, because that, my mom did it. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, um... Sam's Club or Costco, whichever one, started ca carrying those. Mm -hmm. And that was a big moment. I was like, whoa. 
We're, we're doing all right. Oh, you want you eat DiGiorno? Dude, DiGiorno, we were a tombstone household. Oof. And we had... DiGiorno, you like DiGiorno, right? Freshetta over DiGiorno all day. Sure, but that's Ooh. self-rising crust. Ain't nothing to put your <laughs> yeah, nose yeah. up at, baby. That and a nice glass of milk. <laughs> <laughs> we got... You can't... <laughs> don't bring the milk up again. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, you yeah, fucking yeah. piece of trash. Uh, God, it's horrible, that dude. sucks. <laughs> it's the that worst. That makes me so fucking mad. And what makes it worse is that there's like... A sizable part of the population Half. agrees it's like with it. Fifty, him. fifty, dude. And it's despi- I got a base, people, baby. I got a that, base. That these people are, are walking around, and we don't know it. It's, it's you know, like, horrible. There might be people I love. You know, it, it creates this, a consistency in your mouth where it feels like you're eating caulk or something. Oh, it's not good. It stinks, dude. Uh, it really it. is horrendous. I love you. Peeing in the shower, I assume, right? Of course. Brush your teeth in there. I do not. Really? I have a you know a expensive toothbrush. Here's here's trash. Is it electric? I, it's electric, okay. but I started brushing my teeth every day when I turned thirty. Whoa. <laughs> like, if you want to talk about trash, that was one of those like that was a wake over, up call. overworked mothers. Just like you know, there's one thing you just didn't do. And she sure. Was like, sure. She's like, uh, brush your teeth. And she's yeah. so tired <laughs> that she just I never. The same thing. And it was literally, I wasn't even losing my tooth that did it for for whatever reason. It was just like one day I woke up, I was like, I should brush my. teeth. Did you lose your tooth because of decay? No, it was oh. like it was something random. That's the okay. thing. It's like it wasn't that. It was just yeah. like you know. So it was like a, an old injury apparently that just gets worse over time. Yeah, right. And you don't like it should have. It should. If I don't even know what it was, but it just kind of started getting weaker, and then the final straw was cracking it on a, a chicken wing. But not brushing my teeth had nothing to do with that. Damn. And I think. Are you flossing? I've got flossers, the little green okay, guys. That's good nice. counts. Do you know you the know? brand? Check out Glide. I think it's by. I like, think I'm Glide. The green dude, ones. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, orgasmic yeah. when they go yeah, in. Dude, yeah, they yeah, go yeah, in yeah, real yeah, fucking yeah, smooth. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. about uh, in the in the bedroom there? Do you sleep with your socks on? No. What do you sleep? It's in? crazy. I'm a boxers guy. Just boxers. No boxers, t-shirt. Sometimes no, no. I'll go fully nude. Really? Sometimes fresh out the shower, clean oh, sheets. Feels great. I'm rubbing my little my little fresh nuts all over that. Are those sheets clean? I I. Most I'll go two weeks without. With How do you changing. do the laundry? Wait, you drop really? it off. I drop off. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, I'm stunned and impressed. Two weeks? Two weeks tops. Good for I, you. Sometimes I'll switch them out. I would go eighteen months if I didn't have a wife. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. would. I don't think I, I would ever. It's bad. Here's here's class. Here's here's new money class. The reason it's two weeks is because we get a fucking cleaning lady, and she does them every two weeks. She does them. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I I will if I want to. I'll do them. You know, once if there's been a particular. If there's been a couple if incidents, you shit the bed. yeah, yeah, yeah. If we've got a couple squirters over, <laughs> you know, it's like maybe one day I'll enjoy a little hint of pussy sheets, but mm-hmm. like after that, you got to change. A couple them. of squirters. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. hold on. The yeah. cleaning lady's doing the laundry. What do you have a washer and dryer in the building? I no, no. I set out the clean sheets, and she'll change. She them. changes them. That's wow. Yeah, that's, that's like rich good. guy shit. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I picture like butlers It's awesome, do. dude. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So does every pillow in your bedroom have a pillowcase on it? It does. Wow, I yeah. am stunned by it that. It does. Come I on. Pict- I, dude, I, pict- <laughs> I pictured you on a single mattress, no sheets on the floor. Is yeah, your bed in the corner? That's me seven years ago, you know, six years ago for sure. Is your bed in the corner no, of the room? Middle, you have two, dude. two, two egresses? egresses. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, cool. Couple fucking, couple floating shelves on either side. TV you know. in the room? TV in the room, but I got a. It's a TV called The Frame. I got that there too, There we baby. go. Yeah. yeah. Which, which color frame did you go with? We, ju- we just still have the. We didn't yeah. actually put the frame See, on. that's, you know. Well, I see. I don't. Yeah, the frame exactly. is nice. Is it? Because no one know- Yeah, it really is. I, I first promise of all, I you. thought it came with it. And then it came. And then we were, me and my wife were looking. I'm like, I'm not sure. And then it looks, from what I've seen, it, I haven't seen it in person. But you're, are you, you're selling me on it? I'm telling you, in person, it makes a huge difference. Where people are like. So they're, they, it doesn't look like a TV with the frame on. They're just like, what is it? Mm-hmm. They'll be like, is it some kind of like art? Th- like, what the fuck is cool. it? And then you turn the TV on, it's like kind of sick. You know? Yeah, that's how you get the girl squirt. Totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, the, I like it. it's the LG frame. See that, that painting over there? <laughs> Boom! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the news. Well, it is funny because they pitch it as like, hey, you can. No, I've never put a screensaver up. Sure, we have I one mean, that pops. Like I press a button. I don't know why. I'll randomly press a Denmark. button. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to get laid over here, yeah. buddy. I just I keep it off, and it just looks kind of nice cool. with the frame on. So, yeah, TV, though, you got to have them. As know? far as wings go. Now we're finally getting into it. <laughs> the drumstick or the flat? You know, I was a drumstick guy, and I've become a flat wow. guy. Are you doing the, the new thing that the kids are doing with the flats now? Where you crush Where you it. smush it down? I I just I have always done that, but in my own mouth. I have always just, you know, I've mm-hmm. learned 
the way you know the way hot girls would tie a cherry stem. The fat guy equivalent is putting a yeah. drumette in your mouth. It's like uh, how Tom and Jerry used to eat yeah, fish. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> used to eat what fish? That yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole, the whole bone, the just bones come out. <sighs> All right. Yeah, yeah. All but right. I'm, I am a drumette. You know, I am a flats guy. I'll have them both, obviously. Come on, what are we talking oh, yeah. about here? <laughs> uh, First honest thing the man said. <laughs> <laughs> guy's not North Korean. What are we doing here? <laughs> What's going on? And I have to shout out the American Comedy Con. Have you guys done San Diego? That we did La Jolla. Month? Did La Jolla. La Jolla. Well, they had insanely good wings. Really? I will say that. And yeah, I'm a wing connoisseur. The cellar has probably the best wings I've had in New York. Really good wings, They're yeah. They're so good. It's but, wild. But there was something about the fucking American Comedy Company. The hmm. fry was just right. Yeah, just love the that. right kind of hmm. crunch and love juicy. a nice crunch. Yeah, like people a soggy can, wing. People can fuck wings up so easily. Oh. Easily, most people do. I would most argue. Most people do. Yeah, I think you're right. Are you ranch or blue cheese the wings? I will say so. Ranch, a high quality ranch is my favorite. And HQR. But the problem is, those are hard to come by. Hard to come and by. I, you That's know one what? of the secrets Domino's, of the cellar. Their their you ranch, your tongue. whatever that is. Right. Well, I'm saying. Blue cheese is the dominoes of sauces, okay. where it's like consistent across the board. You know what you're getting. Ranch is kind of Pizza Hut, and I will say, in this instance, I go. You know, I hold out for the ranch, but I'll happily settle for the blue cheese. Okay. okay. And if I if I'm real and look, we got we got sauce money. I'll get them both. <laughs> you know, this isn't 2000. This ain't 2015. Cents. Bring it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting appetizers. I'm getting sauces, baby. Mm-hmm. What do you dip your chicken tenders in? I, I, I'll get real buck wild with that. Whatever they got, I'm, I'm making sauce. I mean, I'd like to have a honey mustard just as the, you know, emergency QB. Like, it's just there. I know it's there. But <laughs> if you got an interesting sauce, I'll dip my tender in Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fuck around and see what you got. That's the fucking kind of guy I am. <laughs> Kids got, I got number time and money to burn, baby. Give me a habanero mayo. Show I'm putting my shit in got. there. Give me a, some kind of cilantro-based fucking chimichurri. I'll fucking put that in there. He said that like he was splitting the atom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dip my tender in Dude, I don't know what you're running for, but I'm voting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm Team Stavi. <laughs> this, kid's, uh, this kid's all right. He's got a strong backbone. I like, the, I like the cut of his jib. I'll tell you that right now. Mm. Woo! I got one because uh, the Baltimore... Uh, Philly accent are very similar. Very Yours close. is like a little Wild. slower, uh, yeah. you know, a little more drawl on it. Sure. How do you pronounce the product created by Crayola? Oh, 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 crayon. You say crayon. Well, I don't. No, ha- you listen. just. You just. Here's the thing. I don't have. I don't. Sure. I can do the accent. Yeah, yeah. But I don't. You know, my influences were Greek people, right? So I talk. I don't really have like a Baltimore accent. Uh huh. But it's like if I was doing the the Baltimore guy, it would be like. Let me, uh, let me think about that. Crayon. Yeah, he w- it would be like, what do you guys say? Crown, probably? I say crown. He says. I say crayon. Crane. Crayon. <laughs> crayon. <laughs> That's not right. There's yes, like six is. people that Crayola say Crayola crayon. I say. No, <laughs> when, you, yes. when, you threw, when you threw Crayola <laughs> on there. You hear how bad You really fuck. Yeah, the, 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 the fucking juxtaposition of Crayola yeah. and It's crayon. Crayola crayon. It's crayon. a crayon. Yeah, crayon. Uh, I don't know. That sounds like an alien over crayon. Crayons, no. Yeah. It's not crayon. I say crown, which is wrong. Right. But if you say also, crayon, that's, I say crayon. That's yeah, that's good. The the Baltimore accent is only like uh, it comes in every once in a sure. while. But you okay. know, I'm mostly immune. Most of the people that I was talk that Miss who I was Greek, talking yeah. to were like Greek Town is a very like insular mm-hmm. little community. Can, can you speak Greek that I if I ask yeah. you this? You yeah. can? Yeah, yeah, I'm fluent. That's, can you write it? I can. I my spelling's not great in Greek, and I can read it, but I read it like a fucking dumbass. Like I probably read like a like a stupid sixth grader. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, That's what still I mean? pretty like, impressive. Like, fully, but I can read. I can talk. Um, I can speak. Yeah, I can speak it pretty good. Nice. Okay. That's pretty impressive. That's classy. Thanks, man. Has anybody in your family, anybody you know at all, ever, ever claimed that they saw a UFO <laughs> or Bigfoot? You know, no, nobody. I'm trying to think. I mean. My cousin has started getting, my Greek cousin actually started getting a little into like, it's funny how like, like QAnon shit is like filtering into the rest of the world. Sure. Cause it's like, it's not, he doesn't care that much, but it's like, this is a guy who was like very liberal, very like left growing He's up. He's in Greece. In Greece. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then he just like went, got very weirdly anti, he became an anti-vaxxer weirdly. Okay. But there's never been like, and he had, he said something hilarious where he was like, he was like, he was like. 
kind of a Trump guy, but doesn't really care, obviously. Where it was like, let me ask you this. If Trump is racist, then how come Martin Luther King Jr.'s son voted for him? And I was like, I don't think I don't think he did. Where did yeah, you I say don't, it? Yeah, I don't I was know like, I'm either. pretty sure he didn't. Yeah. He was like, really? I was like, yeah, I don't think so. He's like, oh. <laughs> like he just had, yeah. he hadn't even like sure. <laughs> thought about the uh-huh. standing up to any scrutiny. Yeah, he thought just, I was gonna have to be like, well, well you got sure me. that's a good point, yeah. but um, but yeah. So no, I can't think of any. It would like, be him though, probably. It, he's if a wild does, guy. He's it, a stra- if anybody sees one in the future, he's it's most strange, likely. Yeah, he's a funny, Martin, weird guy, I like and he's. That. I love that. He is definitely a fuck. He's a fucking piece of trash for sure. Mm-hmm. His whole he spent. I mean, he kind of got fucked because he grew up in Greece. He's the he's the direct generation that got fucked by the financial crisis sure. in Greece, okay. where it's like everyone his age just didn't have a job. So yeah. he spent his like twenties working. Chilling. Yeah, like he would work. Uh, you know, tourism was the one industry that was popping off in Greece. So he would go to an island theoretically to work for the summer, but he would just like. He didn't have a room. He would sleep in a tent. Jeez. And he would just, like, fuck as many tourists as possible. I heard that's big in yeah. in, in, in Greece. Totally. To, yeah. get a, to get a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to get that nut off. <laughs> um, and he just spent his, like, and, and he was like, oh, yeah, I'm going there to work. And then one summer I went there, and it, like, kind of coincided with we were both going back. I was going back to Athens the same time he was going back. And I was like, oh, are you taking, like, this, you know, oh, there's a perfect boat that gets us there really quickly. He was like, he was like, yeah, that one's like 40 euros more. I'm going to have to take the overnight boat to save like <laughs> literally 40 euros. Yeah, he yeah, did he not have the money to get, to home get a, in a, a normal just manner to get to get home. It was like, like a cargo hold. He somewhere. had the, it was like a meg. He got the mega bus. The mega boat. The, yeah, mega, yeah, yeah. the mega boat. The yeah. mega boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he took the mega boat for sure. It's got luggage on his seat. Um, but it would be him for sure. And I'm, you know, I'm interested to see. Like literally within an hour of being in Greece, the last time I was there, he was showing me like videos of of like the this couple fucking at a at a Metallica concert. He was like, he this was just showing. Parties. He rules. No, yeah. he's the best. But he's just like he was like a, an old metalhead, and like he was like, dude, this is pretty sick. And just some girl just getting railed out, and, and maybe it wasn't the Metallica, maybe it was just some metal show. But it was like some guys just fucking, uh-huh. and like. In Someone's view, in the crowd, yeah. Some fucking bitch is getting just destroyed. And he's like, pretty yeah, pretty cool. He's huh? not horny. Yeah. It's, not, it's, it's nothing just like He just wants me to see something yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, have you seen this <laughs> meme? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Imagine a guy with two beers standing behind him, like, yeah, it's my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like how he tried to class it up and say it was a Metallica show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> some it Greek cover, cover was, band. Yeah. He's, de- he's seen a lot of metal shit. Like, he's, the, he's awesome. He One time he went to see. He loves Ozzy Osbourne, loves Black Sabbath, and he went to see Ozzy Osbourne in London, and Ozzy threw his bucket of waters, right? Not a, who gives a, it's like literally just a fucking bucket. <laughs> mm-hmm. He went to secure, like, he went to just take it with him through security in London, they're like, you Oh, on an airplane? Yeah, yeah, to go yeah. back to Greece, and, and they're like, you, you can't. You can't bring a metal like bucket. a weird yeah. metal bucket, and it wouldn't fit in his luggage. He didn't want to, like, fold or break it, and he somehow... <laughs> He was like, I'm not. He's like, I'm taking the bucket. And he got it. And he somehow, like, the power of love for <laughs> sure. a bucket Ozzy Osbourne His fandom. Held. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pushed power, him through. Pushed him through. I love And this I was post 9-11. It. This was not, you know. Yeah, yeah no, post he, 9-11. He, he rocks for this sure. was in the 80s. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, we got to do a couple from Patreon. Let's okay. do it. And then we got we to gotta wrap her up. Let's fucking do it. Um, this one's from Eddie. Have you ever been so high you put your turn signal on for a normal bend in the road? <laughs> like you've been so you, you're just going I like that, that. Way. 100% yeah I feel like I have I will say Eddie I was I was so high on my flight back from San Diego that I'm still not sure where my laptop is this what was four mean? days ago and I remember it's in the fucking seat I re, well I remember putting it in my backpack I have a memory of putting it in my backpack and I was I took so many edibles I was high the whole day and I'm f- pretty sure I used it in my apartment, mm-hmm. and then I went back to the place. I have a memory of it being, and it's just not there because mm. I was just on like just, I mean yeah on Mars probably like a hundred twenty milligrams. Jesus, and, Jesus, and, stop. And, yeah, Zombie baby gets and, after yeah, yeah, it. Yikes! Yeah. I had a rough weekend. I needed to sleep it uh-huh. off, and so I truly just don't know. Like I'm gonna go check my. That's part of the reason I need to clean my apartment, not just because of fear of my roommate, but like. Do I have to call Delta? I mean, it's yeah. been it's days. Probably, yeah, it's probably just gone now. Who gives a fuck? No, they probably they tend to keep them. I think. Okay, maybe. Hmm. But yes, I'm pretty sure I've done that. But no, 
to answer our, our man Eddie's question here, I know nothing in particular comes to mind. But. Okay. And speaking of flying, do you fly business or first class Where or you comfort now? or what are you doing? I, you only fly Delta? I only fly Delta, and it just depends, you know. Sure, like price-wise. I, yeah, I let my nuts hang a little bit in San Diego. This was a first-class flight back. Love nice. that. Um, and it, if, I'm go, if I'm doing something for work where I have to be there, mm-hmm. then sometimes I'm like, well— you gotta treat yourself. I, a little I'll bit. do, yeah. yeah, it's yeah like, of course. Especially if it's like a tight turnaround, and I have, I just want to sleep. Literally, mm. like I'll do that. But you know, I try not to. Fu- I still have that. I'm going to be poor. Of course, sure. Thing. So like, oh, wherever I can, I just like get a fucking like. I'll go eggs. My big move is exit row regular. You know what I mean? Okay. Because it's like they're pretty roomy. Sure. And Where are you at? You an aisle or window guy? Aisle all day. Yeah, aisle. Got to be aisle. Gotta. Exit row. Exit row. Can I ask you this? Bit of a personal question, please. Are you a seatbelt extender guy or no? You know, that's it's really unfortunately it is a case by case basis now. And I used to be a full no. Okay. And that was one of the I'm first a full yes. I I guessed I was gonna get it. I didn't want to <laughs> say it. I was leaning yes. <laughs> I was le- <laughs> it's tough. That's a tough one. The right? reason I ask is yeah. I got removed. From the exit row. Because you're not physically capable. They don't think you're physically <laughs> right. capable. Dude, fat I got, phobia. I got, I got re- <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they're all racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got removed from the exit row. That's a tough one. With my girlfriend in tow. <sighs> the girl involved Well, they would have let her stay, but they were, she's like, oh, honey. Well, they go, they go, we sit in the exit row, and then the lady walks by. I'm like, hey, can I grab a seatbelt extender? They get the seatbelt extender. They come back, and she's like, unfortunately... I can't have you sit here. You're too fat Would for this. Would anybody switch seats with this gentleman? <laughs> Are there any able bodies? We got a fat ass in 14 C. Stand up. Volunteer save oh. the plane. Oh. They were jacked, too. Oh, fully, dude. fully. And and a couple of Boy Scouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My yeah. girlfriend's like, I'm going to stay here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the middle seat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit on his lap. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> fine, but I'm eating your Cheez-Its then. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Pay for your own tomato <laughs> juice. <laughs> a basket, a basketball team got on one of our flights and sat next to me on the aisle, and Foley was on the window, and I saw him talking shit about Foley in his group text. To the rest <laughs> of the basketball <laughs> you didn't tell me that. <laughs> Piece of shit. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. No, that's a real tough one, and that's why it's like that's also why like I had to fly Southwest recently, and that's brutal because it's like. I, I need to be above this. Like I, I'm, I'm on a plane. I don't need that bus energy of sure. someone. I as refuse a fat to fly guy, Spirit. We just. I, oh, I'm like, I want. It's always the, clearly the cheapest, but I'm like, I just you can't, can't do, do that. It. You can't do that. You said I'll you're lose aisle. money. Your aisle, aisle. aisle. Yeah. I need to know where my seat is because I hate that. As a fat man, I know you know this. Where people just like are scanning and just frantically trying to do the math, and when they've done it and they're like, they cannot avoid sitting next to you. They're just like. <sighs> just like I do, a, do, bit, I do a, look up there. I do a whole bit about it. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. fucking staring. You get it. You get it. Pieces yeah, yeah. of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Judgmental yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's typically I got a thyroid condition. <laughs> we typically put Toby next to him to give him right, a buffer. Right, 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 right. So right. like he doesn't. He loves that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Treat him like a body pillow. Yeah. Treat Toby <laughs> like he's like. <laughs> so, but but then if there is an open seat available, Toby then moves. You know what I mean? Like if there is, of course, of course, of course. We try to protect the big man at all costs. You would of think course. that his very fragile just, fucking yeah. ego. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody from the airline industry is out there, get rid of that bar at the, the at the bars, window. Yeah, that one doesn't go up. If that went up, you'd, you'd change oh, you change people's mean the, lives. The armrest. Yes, because the one on the fully. aisle goes up. And then once we take off, I pop that over and I'm fucking ass. Dude, I didn't realize yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know he was sitting there. I'm chilling until the fucking cocktail car. I comes. turned around. I got up to go to the bathroom like when they took when they, you know, we were allowed to move. And I turn around and he's behind dude. He was in like the whole uh, like you <laughs> you couldn't dude. I laughed. It was like the my favorite the favorite visual moment I've ever I turn around I'm like, oh there's two oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it's just some guy in, dude, just, his head was in the middle of the yeah. aisle. <laughs> dude, they smash into me with that car. Know what oh, that's the when your knee gets just fucking brutalized yeah. by the cart. You're yeah. like, and I on. feel like fat people are the only ones when they come up with the snacks. She just hands me all three. Doesn't even ask. Never says. Yeah. yeah. And just I'm like, hands them to me. Get these nuts out of my face, bitch, and give me two chocolate kind bars. <laughs> <laughs> those, those things are all right. Yeah. Those mini cliff bars ain't nothing. To, I wouldn't yeah. get them out of bed either. <laughs> Woo, peanut butter mini cliffy. Those Good are night. great. Uh-huh. Those are great. 
Keep the Biscoffs coming. Mm-hmm. I don't oh, mind the Biscoffs. Those are wild. Diet Cokes, all right. Yeah. Yeah, those yeah, are yeah. blowing up. They choke up. you up in here, though. They get, they get up in your, uh, they get all up in my teeth. You ever had the Biscoff butter? The I cookie butter? I no, I heard so. it's good, though. <laughs> you want to get in there. You yeah. want to get in there. <laughs> I don't give it a whirl. Yeah. That gonna... was for Foley. Are you... <laughs> I, we were connecting. <laughs> are you going to go see Top Gun? A hundred percent. Thank you. A thousand percent. Mm-hmm. If you had to choose between an ice cream cone, regular, mm. sugar, pretzel, waffle. Wow. What are you doing? What's stop you waffle. Doing? Okay. I like a nice waffle. waffle. Gentlemen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I'll I take that in. Go answer. regular. I think, you gotta, again, that's like the Montreal seasoning. It's like you got to, yeah. you're elevated to but a pretzel to a waffle. Sometimes you do just you want like that Mr. Classic. Softy. Of course. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Softy, you get a, you get a regular cone. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Fucking asshole. You can't get a waffle of Mr. Softy. We were talking about bad snacks when we were a kid. We were talking about croutons last week. I, I remember. Just eat croutons. 100%. Yeah. I remember. With heavy bite. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember also just and bacon bits. Oh, yeah, we oh, talked, yeah dude, 100%. Nothing like being a little like fat piece of shit, mm-hmm. being an eight and being at a all-you-can-eat buffet with a salad bar, coming back with one piece Pizza of hut. lettuce that is basically serving, be, acting as a second plate yeah. and just fucking it up with croutons, bacon bits, and ranch mm-hmm. and just making a little, like, a pre-diabetic soup. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a chowder. Little, little yeah. shredded yeah, cheddar yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice little delivery A, a, gus- a gazpacho. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to just eat uh, ice cream cones by themselves. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Real, sad. It's Real sad. It's honestly rare that somebody can say something that even I'm like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> like someone can out fat child me uh-huh. and, you know, you got if me. there's anybody that can do you it. You got me there with just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's do two more from the page. Let's and we can page. wrap yeah, her this up. This fun. Um, it's from Matt. Have you ever had to go ask? Have you ever had to ask a shoe store employee to borrow a sock to try on a shoe? <laughs> That's a bad look. Or ask for the shoehorn. Uh, not the shoehorn, but I have. Well, I've never asked, but sure. they have those they little have those fucked little up fucked weird I like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They make me feel I've like a ballet used... dancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels like you're wearing pantyhose. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It chucks yeah, me like up it. a little bit. Exactly. We get to, we get to uh, 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 experiment with our gender identity in a uh-huh. safe space with yeah. those. Yes, exactly. It's like, oh, <laughs> it's like. I'm trying on shoes yeah. at Payless. I'm in Foot Locker. <laughs> oh, back again? Yeah, I just wanted to try <laughs> some stuff. I love your blouse. Yeah. I remember one time I went my parents' took me out to get new shoes and like I took my shoes off and there was just like they were mostly holes. Yeah, you know? and yeah, my mom yeah, was like, yeah, you yeah. Fucking piece. <laughs> yeah. We looked like bored, like yeah. proper. Yeah. Bored. That's like depression yeah. era, like, like trailer yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That was the thing about being being like that when we were kids. There was always such an emphasis on not letting anybody know no, you're everybody poor. knew it. Yeah, but certain things. Yeah, if you get yeah, dirty socks you to on, pretend, what's yeah. wrong with mm-hmm. you? Mm-hmm. Barry, yeah. fucking screaming. <laughs> Will you? Are you a water bottle guy? Like a ref, like a reusable yes. water bottle? Mm-hmm. Will you use the refillable water bottle station at the airport? I will. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I that's pretty cool. You're uh, taking care of the environment. You know, but here's the thing: if I don't, I steal the water bottles. I've stolen a water bottle every time. Everybody steals from the yeah, airport. You guys all love stealing. The airport. I mean, the the first of all, the air. Yes, because it's like you spend so much of your life in an airport that you're like. I need something back from you, you know? I understand. And also, they're begging you to steal waters. <laughs> they're out there. The, no one's around. You fucking well, a lot just... of new ones, they don't even have, like, a checkout person. Like, yeah. you check out, you're just supposed to check out yourself. Oh, come like, on. I'm like, what are you, fucking what? nuts? This is disrespectful. Field day. <laughs> yeah. exp- oh, and it also costs $7. I know. If it costs so 2 bucks, I would buy the water. Mm-hmm. But that's, you know. So, yeah. Hmm. Uh, hotel? What about them? Do you leave? Uh, you Ever been to one? <laughs> <laughs> you have? That's cool. Uh, what do you leave for the cleaning lady? 10 bucks, 20 bucks. Okay. It depends. Depends how much merch. I usually don't. If I have cash, I'll, you know. Yeah. I usually leave 20 of merch money. Okay. You know. Good. You like the early check-in? You do, you're do. you an early check-in guy? I, if I, you know, when I, I try and time it so that there's no issues with, with the check-in. Yeah, you know. bad. Um, but yeah, I'll try and get there as early as possible. You know, if I can't, if I can check in, I'll check in as early as possible. But I like to, I like to time it right around three. So there's no, no issue. If yeah, they, yeah. If, when they dare say it's not ready to check in time, that's, we've had that truly once Truly despicable. You're just like walking really? around Rochester yeah. or something. Like, yeah. I gotta leave your, can I leave my luggage here? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, tag, all that yeah. stuff. Like, it was okay. I like to avoid that if possible. A hundred percent. Ten bucks. That's pretty clear. See? He's, Yeah. I you I yeah you know it depends it depend it also depends on 
how how long I'm there. You know, t- I would say ten is a, is the, like if nothing. There's no you know, like yeah. Are you tr- are like you trash the, in that room? The what was I last? San Di- in San Diego, I think I was just like. I left the twenty. I mean, I usually leave twenty if it's a full weekend. But yeah. if it's like a one nighter here, whatever, oh, I'll just yeah. do whatever. You're going whatever through all those towels, right? Huh? You're going through Absolutely. all the towels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you leave them in one little area, or you I just, do? You put them together a little bit. A little bit, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Dirty, yeah. 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 Fucking gentlemen over yeah, here. Yeah, Come yeah, on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are yeah. we doing? <laughs> yeah, their lives. And the thing is, like tipping. I do like tipping a lot because it's just like, who gives a fuck? I know. It doesn't. It does Makes shit. you feel nice too. My life is barely impacted. And it, like a good tip makes somebody's fucking day, you mm-hmm. know. So it's like you know, well, it just. But if I'm really, if I really fuck a room up, I'll, I'll, I'll I might even drop forty. Yeah, you know what just because I mean? you're like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm really yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. You don't you make eye contact when you're walking yeah, down the yeah, hallway. Yeah, 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 sorry yeah, about yeah, that yeah. dump in the yeah. sink. Oh, the smell, the musk <laughs> oh, around some here. Some of the windows you can't open. You <laughs> yeah, walk, yeah, it's yeah, bad, yeah. man. Musk. It's bad. Jam them up. It's bad. Like a walrus was rutting in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Stavros, Stavi, Alkis. baby, ooh, Love guys, it. brand Thank new you. debut special That's right. coming out June fifth on YouTube. Make sure you check it out. He's one of the absolute best. Thanks, buddy. you're fucking killing it, buddy. Thank you for having Couldn't me. Boys. Couldn't be more proud of you. Man. Couldn't Thank be you. more happy for you. Thank you. Same. Absolutely. Thank you for coming in and stopping. Anything you want the folks out there to know other than the special? Yeah, just special. It'll be a live premiere, eight o'clock Eastern, five o'clock Pacific. I'll be in the little chat, fucking around. You know, I'll have a couple friends. You guys are welcome to come. Thanks, buddy. You know, get in the chat. We'll fuck mm-hmm. around. Um, but yeah, just follow the YouTube, you know, that's, I'm putting a lot of effort into the YouTube channel. He's cooking. It's not just the special. I also put two longer videos a week and every day a very short clip will be on YouTube, uh, and TikTok, Instagram, whatever you prefer. But yeah, that's the main shit. Go. That's what I'm, I'm really, I really want people to see this thing and you know, what's the name of your YouTube channel? It's just my name. Stavros Alkius. Just, just look me up on YouTube and, uh, yeah, that's it. Can't wait for the special to come out. Thank you, boys, for having me. Thank, Thank you, buddy. You, buddy. Can't barely wait to feels see like it. we did. We I literally could do this for five. I know hours. this is work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just argued over pizza. He, he just yeah. asked me the stupidest questions I've ever heard in my life, and I love <laughs> how you answer them. You're like, well, and, but actually, yeah, 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 yeah. I prefer this more than any qu- like any interview. Is uh, this is the best yeah. in the world? I mean, I don't care how you started. Let's get. What are you dipping your tendies? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. so you started doing open? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Hey, your writing process, huh? What about the Five Alive? What are you doing there? Kibby, what do you got for him? Uh, just, you know, check us out. YouTube, Patreon, iTunes. Check us out on the road. Yeah. We're gearing up for a fucking second leg. Yeah. Uh, the second half of the, we're adding like 20 cities or something. Come see us. They're a good fucking time. Yeah. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.